This weekend is all about solving problems. The first problem I want to solve is this workbench. There's several improvements I want to make, but before we start cutting any metal, I always like to define the problem first. So let's make a quick list of what we want to accomplish. First, I wish the working surface was a little bit larger. I could probably say that about every workbench. I'd like it to be as big as the shop. So after some internal debate, I've decided I want it to be about double the working surface that I have now. The guy who taught me how to weld always said, you want to be comfortable. That's going to give you the best possible weld. So it'd be great if I could adjust the height of the table or make it a little bit taller by default. Number three, I definitely want to add casters. Number four, I can now combine these two carts. Number five, this is an opportunity to experiment with the rotary table. It's something I've been wanting to play around with for a while. I've got all the components here. Since I'm going to be cutting steel anyway, why not go ahead and incorporate it into this table in such a way that I can remove it if I don't like it. Finally, I'd love to make this with material I already have. So let's take a quick look around and see what I got. Over here, I've got a whole bunch of this four inch pipe that I bought to experiment with on my rotary axis for the CNC. I also have a whole bunch of this extruded aluminum. In fact, this is not all of it. I bought it used, as you can probably tell. I think this is gonna make the base for my table. If I was gonna go buy material, I wouldn't use something this large. I also have a little bit of this one by two tubing. That's definitely not enough to make the whole table, but it might be useful. I don't need a decent motor for this rotary axis. I won't be able to speed control that. This one I think is 18 to one, not quite slow enough. Wait, hold on, I remember you. Pretty sure that one's 40 to one. Yeah, and one horsepower, that's definitely gonna be overkill. Just how I like it. <laughs> this is one of those moments where you go, holy cow, I think this might actually work. Check this out. Look how good that fit is. I mean, there's barely any play. I think I just figured out how I'm gonna make my table height adjustable. So I need to get this modeled up and make sure I'm not crazy. And then I'll show you what I came up with. And here she is. A couple things I wanna point out. Number one, I don't usually model details that I don't think are essential. For example, I never model extruded aluminum with all the details. I'm just using a, a box to represent the space. And in this case, I didn't model the legs on this table, although that's a detail I would normally model. Similar with fasteners, I never model threads or things like that, but I always wanna represent that space. Here are the electric actuators I'm gonna use, or just representative models, not the actual ones. I'm gonna go for 14 inches of travel. In fact, the actuators and the casters are the only components I ended up having to purchase. Down here is the plate where I'm going to mount my electrical panel. This will basically have a VFD in it for controlling the motor. And there'll also be a DC power supply in here for uh, controlling these electric actuators. There's one more component I modeled, here it is. And this is meant to be a 3D printed piece. Uh, after thinking about it for a while, I was a little bit concerned that these might jam going up and down. If you've ever opened a wooden drawer that doesn't have the ball bearing slides on it, it's very easy for them to jam sideways if they get twisted even a little bit. So I modeled this to fit that space just a little bit more snugly in case I have issues with the jamming. But these actuators both push and pull, so I shouldn't have an issue if there's a slight jam, it probably will overcome it. We shall see, I may not need these pieces. And I think that's it. Well, let's get started by cutting out some of this extruded aluminum. Now, if this saw looks weird to you, that's because it's been heavily modified. It's an old beat up miter saw that I bought and then added a two horsepower electric motor, plus a few other modifications. There's a whole video on that that you can check out with a link in the description. Now, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know most of the tools in my shop I built myself, including this CNC machine. And there's several videos about this project, so you can also check this one out in the description. Most of the custom parts for this table we're building were cut out right here. Now, one of the problems with being in a hurry is that you run into all types of little blunders. For example. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So this motor should actually be like this. Golly.
Boy, I gotta say, it sure would be nice to have a rotary table for welding this pipe. <laughs> hint, hint. Once the pneumatic actuators arrived, I realized it would be much easier to mount them if I could plasma cut the holes. So I plasma cut these legs and welded them on. Now I can save that rectangular tubing for a different application. These are the upper leg supports, which were cut out of angle iron. And here I'm just notching out the area that'll fit around the pipe. Now, no project in my shop is complete without the approval of my boys. So there's always gonna be a walk around where I demonstrate all of the features and explain to them exactly how it works. I wanted to be able to weld without having to bend over. So I can control the speed by stepping on a foot pedal. I can weld here while I'm spinning. It's like the ultimate welding table, right? And here are one of those amazing moments where your kids remind you of the values you've been teaching them all their life. I'm not a fan of painting. Or maybe I don't paint. Maybe I just let it rest. Look at that face. <laughs> <Ooh, gosh. laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? Oh, gosh. What is this? That is an electrical cabinet. Or well, I couldn't disappoint my son after that, so I sanded it down and painted it. In fact, I put three coats on it. Well, now that the boring part's over, let's get back to the fun stuff. A little bit of an unexpected issue here. My motors are interfering and pushing this over in this direction. So I'm just gonna spin this around. It'll operate in both directions. Usually when I have a problem like this and I have to fix it on the fly, I try not to complain. I just say, well, anything worth making usually comes with problems. But if I'm totally honest, I'd much rather work on the first try. Oh, come on. Fine. Yep. I think that'll work just fine. The last issue to solve is how to ground this plate while it's spinning. What I decided to do was take a spring, which I dug out of one of my reservoir boxes. We're gonna drop that on. And then I took a little piece of copper pipe Cut it open. So this will slide over the shaft. This will rub against the bottom of this while it's spinning. The clamp from the other side will go on like so. This should allow the shaft to spin, granted with a little bit of friction, but I'm not terribly worried about it with the amount of power I have here. And this should get me by for a while. Maybe it'll work so great that I just leave it. We'll see. something. This is going to be pretty good. <laughs> well, I got to say, I've been playing with this guy for a little while now, and I am loving the new features. Everything seems to be working as I had hoped, and it's hard to ask for much more than that. Anyway, I'm currently working on a robotics and automation series, and so those videos will be continuing after this one. If you're interested in that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. And if you got a question about that, leave it in the comment section, and maybe I'll talk about it in the series that's coming up. Hopefully this will inspire you to make some improvements in your shop. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. What would a rock sound song, rock song sound you can like? Can play rock sound? Are you good? Sure, you can. Try it. <laughs> <laughs>